I look like seven rough years, as we say in Swedish. <laughs> So it's the last day of filming the Swedish TV show. I've laughed so much during this shoot that I've realized that I'm a tiny bit incontinent because I've peed my pants. Like not a lot, but like a little bit, but you're still like, wow, I'm 26 years old and I just peed my pants. But just a little bit. I'm doing a lot of those like clenching exercises now. <laughs> Too much information for everybody, including me. The taxi is here in five minutes, so I need to, to pack up and get ready, and the last day of shooting is almost here. We just got to the studio, and we've had the morning meeting and gone through the manuscript for the day. So we're just gonna start with doing some testimonials, so me talking about things that we've done previously. And then we're shooting an episode where we want it to be winter during summer, because it's stupid that it's only winter during winter. We're gonna ride sleds down a summer hill, and we're gonna have like a snow war. Snowballs, kidding. <laughs> Everybody's gonna bully me for having a selfie stick. And here is the house where we're filming. But they're packing everything up. Yeah, it's a hot mess. Oh wow. We're gonna go ride Pulka, Lisa, right down this hill. And I'm like terrified because it's really steep and there's like a bunch of stones and I feel like I'm gonna crack my butt. Also, I'm wearing this like overalls. It's like they have a personal grudge against my crotch because it's like so tight. So, this is the one that has soap water and tarp under it. Right. Freaking terrifying. I love his overall so much. Okay, now we're going to try metal. That was so bad. Didn't work at all. Winter during summer is uh, definitely worse than winter during winter. I can say that. I've done some scientific research now and it's, it's very true. Very verified. And we're, yeah, we're done filming. Yes, we are. I filmed the last thing for this TV show. This is Robert who developed the idea of it. What's your de official title? A developer, very fancy. Fancy. Senior format developer. But now we're going into post-production and we're gonna look at some of the clips that they have there. And you're gonna love it. I'm gonna love it. You're gonna love it. You have to love it. So this is where they do part of the post-production. It feels really scary because usually when I do videos, I'm so in control of like all the footage and everything and of the edit and here you're just like relinquishing control to a bunch of people i haven't actually seen anything so i don't know what it looks like okay let's watch this jag och simon har haft lite fredagsmys med de här grabbarna runt armarna <laughs> Oh yeah, this is my favorite. This is my favorite part. So we got to ride in the excavator bucket. It was actually the most fun thing we got to do on this show, I think. Welcome to the next episode of Astronaut School. Today we're going to do a GK-sending in the Gafskopa. In the Dritte! 
And then I tweeted about it and people were like, Simone, what's your insurance? Have people thought this through? And I'm like, oh no, we just wanted to do it. Now we're gonna watch when we um, put things into jelly and then Misa almost died. He got electrocuted and smacked me in the face. Uh, <laughs> It's the last day of filming and I'm so tired of the show, but now I just want to watch all of it. Can you edit everything now, Lola? <laughs> Thanks for letting me watch it. Look where I am! I'm back home in San Francisco. It's so good to be home. I love you, workshop. So as much as it was really fun to shoot the TV show, it was also pretty tough to do that and manage my own stuff at the same time. And about midway through the shoot, I started getting some serious burnout symptoms. And I actually went on sick leave for a week. So I'm really sorry for not having uploaded any videos, but it wasn't really an option because um, yeah, I was just not feeling really well. And it's important to take care of yourself, but it's hard because like, I love my job so much that I could work all the time. I'm feeling a lot better just like being back home in San Francisco in my own bed and not having to live out of a suitcase makes a huge difference. You gotta let your body set the rules. Otherwise it's gonna fuck you up. Your body comes and fucks you up hard. Yeah, my body fucked me up. I'll talk to you soon and take care of yourselves. I'm uh, the voice of experience. 26 years old now. I might still pee my pants occasionally when I laugh really, really hard, but I do take good care of myself. <laughs> Charming.